Introducing the UFC featherweight champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor. His opponent, the reigning, defending, undisputed lightweight. What does it feel like to be back? And what does this fight mean to you? Don't let that smelly rap put that hat, hat on your head, Joe. The smell of that fucking thing. Don't ever let him, let him put that hat on your head. It's good to be back. UFC fans, it's good to be fucking back. They can't... Boy, the man was a fanboy. He bought t-shirts of mine. He fucking supported the cause. You remember that? You little fanboy. You little fanboy bitch. Khabib! What does this fight mean to you to defend your title tomorrow night against Conor McGregor? Hey, first of all, I want to say Alhamdulillah, God gave me everything. Alhamdulillah, I know you got this, they don't like this. Alhamdulillah, tomorrow night I'm gonna smash your boy, guys. I'm gonna... <laughs> Guys, thank you very much, and you can probably hear the boos, one of the most anticipated nights in UFC history, marred by a very ugly scene. As you just mentioned, Khabib Nurmagomedov defeats Conor McGregor in the fourth round. He taps him out, but afterwards, one of the grossest scenes that I've ever seen covering this sport, and Stephen A., you were down there. Did you witness what happened? Well, what happened was is that after he got Conor McGregor to submit, he literally said something smart to Conor, like, yeah, I can't even repeat what he was saying. Then after that, he walked to the other side of the ring, took out his mouthpiece, and threw something at a member of Conor McGregor's team. That's how it appeared as I was sitting near ringside. And so, uh, obviously, there was a lot of animosity that was built coming up to this fight. We saw a lot of talking going back and forth, and it wasn't just between the two fighters. It was between the two teams, and I think he saw the residue of that just now. Chael, shades of that brawl in Nashville and Strike Force way back when. Also saw a member of Habib's team light up Connor in the yes. cage as well. Thank you for saying that. Listen, it, it's very hard to uh, witness what we just did here. And a little bit of this is speculation. Even though we were here, I couldn't completely see to what Steven said. Khabib, who had no energy all week, who didn't want to help sell this fight, who walked out of the damn press conference and did nothing to help this capacity crowd, decides to come to life, which for me is a little bit upsetting. It's very important to be a good loser, but it's hard. Guys, it should be very easy to be a good winner. To get back to the point, though, Khabib appeared to go after uh, Dylan Dennis. The reason I offered that, I couldn't see Dylan was sitting there, but I saw Dylan be escorted out of the building by the UFC, and he was wobbling, so it appeared to me that Khabib must have got to him. In the meanwhile, and I don't know if the camera's on this, I did see this with my own eyes. One of Khabib's entourage was lighting Conor McGregor's body up. Conor was exhausted. That was inappropriate. I don't know what's said, and guys, I don't give a damn what was said. It's what is done physically. This is the fight business. It is under unified rules. You don't have a license. You operate in the ring. You bring up Nashville, Ariel. Right. Yeah. Nobody left the ring. Right. Leaving the ring's a different well, story. Take it a step further. Think about the challenges that the UFC has had in terms of getting the fight endorsed where it got to New York in 2016 or whatever. Considering all the hard work that the organization has put forth to get this fight, to get this game mainstream, you don't need to see something like this. You know, Megamedov came in and did what he said he was going to do, guys. He, he questioned Connor's fatigue. He said, I'm going to attack him. I'm going to get him to the mat. I'm going to wear him down. I'm going to maul him. I'm going to beat him up. He did everything he said he was going to do in this fight, with the exception of the third round where he stood up and looked like he was willing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Conor McGregor for the most part in that particular round. But after the fight was over, he definitely conducted himself in a classless fashion, and I don't think there's any excuse for it or his team or anybody on Conor's team to do the kind of things that we Eric, saw. May I jump in Please, real fast? Sure. Okay, listen. Guys, when a fight ends, and this fight did end as the rules as I understand them, that is it. The commission obviously is going to find him. Dana White could do anything, including fire and cut him. I don't believe that will happen. Right. But something appears to be going on. For some reason, the commission is now involved, and for some reason, we have not heard an announcement. So, Errol, I'm not certain that I'm right. I believe I'm right sure. that the submission stands, but something behind us is unfolding. 
Well, yes, yeah, something is unfolding. Conor McGregor is no longer in the cage. He was escorted out. We're also seeing Dana White speak to Khabib Nurmagomedov. There's a ton of security in the cage. I don't know if we're going to hear from Khabib. He's being escorted out of the cage right now as well. Members of his team, Daniel Cormier is with him. Stephen A., this sport, as you mentioned, has had to work very hard to get to the point where the world is watching. And for people like Chael and I who have been following and loving this sport for so long, to see something like this happen, I would almost say it's heartbreaking. It's this is disgusting. And, and listen, listen. It's unfortunate. There's no excuse for it. But it's not like somebody jumped into the stands. They went after members of the other team. We're not condoning it. Please yeah. don't get me wrong. But what I'm saying is the target was a member of the opposing team. So the hostility between the two sides is what we saw extended six out outside the ring. This is not Ron Artest jumping into the stands, going after a fan in an NBA game like what transpired in 2004. Right. These, are, these are enemies. These are enemy combatants, not just the fighters themselves, but their respective teams that were going at one another. And that's why I think it's disgusting as it is, and we don't condone it by any stretch of the imagination. There is a difference between that and him just going into the stands and going after people. Right, and you heard the crowd cheering. Right. They were throwing things at Khabib Nurmagomedov as he was leaving. Dana White still has the belt in his hands. He told Khabib that he would not put the belt around his waist because he was afraid that this place would erupt. So Bruce Buffer is about to announce the winner, and Khabib is robbed of this moment as well. Well, I, 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 to be quite honest with you, I don't think he cares, believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> he, what he cares about is the fact that he beat Conor McGregor, that he got Conor McGregor to submit, that he lived up to his billing in terms of what he said he was going to do and how Conor McGregor wasn't able to take him out. It was the other way around. The fact that he doesn't get the belt wrapped around him inside the ring means little to nothing at this point. At the end of the day, he's still undefeated. He's still the champion. We'll be talking about him tomorrow, next week, next month as the champion who beat Conor McGregor. The fact that he doesn't get the belt wrapped around his waist is just a symbolic gesture that he doesn't give a damn about at this particular moment in time because he had other priorities and he showed what they were. Steven, let me offer both of you this. They came in, This is what we call in the business a heel turn. Listen, Khabib was the victim this whole time. He was sitting on the bus to take you guys back to the Barclays Center. Connor attacked the bus. Connor was the bad guy. Why would Khabib behave like this? Defending yourself in no the excuse. ring is one thing. To exit the ring is totally different. And for whoever put hands on Connor McGregor yeah. after he just went through a no war, question. I am stunned with that's what assault. I saw. First of all, whoever did that, that, assault. Whoever that, did that to Connor McGregor, that's assault. That person should be arrested. Right. Now, Yes. Period. But in terms of Khabib himself, let's be clear here. You know, we got to look at it from the standpoint that he's absorbed a lot of stuff. He's taken a lot of words from Conor McGregor. Nobody up here is condoning the classlessness that he displayed in the aftermath of the victory. What I'm saying is it's understandable in a pugilistic sport from time to time when you get to that point because the hostility is so real and it is so great. The very